Hi guys, it's Lynn here. Hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Now this is just a little bit of a video vlog on uh, my experience of using Diatomaceous Earth, I think that's how you pronounce it, on those cactus plants that are really hard to reach with bug sprays and with neem oil and things like that. And I'm using this one as an example in this video. This is my Echinocereus Regispinus, commonly known as the rainbow cactus. And it's covered in white powder because I've been using the Diatomaceous Earth on it, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. And these particular type of cacti are nightmarish if they come down with mealybugs or any other type of bugs because the spines on them, as you can see there, are incredibly, incredibly tightly knit together. And also these spines almost act like a waterproof coating. You, you literally cannot get a pin in between these spines. So it's like it's wearing a rain mac almost like a coat of armor so when you spray it with bug sprays or even the neem oil it just doesn't go into in through these spines to get in contact with the skin to attack pests and mealybugs just go all in between inside these spines and that it's just impossible in my experience it's the same with the very very woolly type of cacti or the, or the cacti that got very tight spines woolly woolly cacti such as some of the mammillarias or some of the um, cephalocet senelisis, they're also a nightmare and you also don't know if you have mealybug because they're so whitely woolly to start off with you don't notice it so this is when this can be very good now dear Thomas Earf, I'm new to using this so this isn't going to be a how-to video I'll make a how-to video on using this when I've got a lot more experience with it so probably in a few months time I don't like to do how-to videos unless I've got good experience of using it myself a little bit about diatomaceous earth it's 100 percent natural and it's also it's fossilized remains so it's quite an incredible in millions and millions of years old very safe a natural source of silica you do need to be careful if you're breathing it in so i'm only using a tiny bit but if you're doing using it quite a lot obviously a lot of it then it's probably good to wear a face mask or fast face covering to cover your face but again i'm new to using this so i'll find out a lot more information on this over the months when i use it and all you, all you need to do with these type of cacti anyway is put a small amount in and this is i just want to mention that this is one i got from amazon and it's always best to use food grade diatomaceous earth the best quality you can get it's a big tub here and the reason why I'm using here a little brush is because it can act as a bit of a powder puff so I can and I've already done this but I just thought I'd show you a bit of an example here is say if you've got mealybugs here you want to press it in there puff it in and it's so fine this powder it's finer than flour that it will go right through these really tight spines and just gently brush there it doesn't matter if it looks really powdery because you can brush it off after a few hours it would do its work it would get to uh, work by the little fine particles these fossilized remains are that fine that they'll they'll rip uh, shelled insects and it's meant to be very good with spider mite as well again i'm i'm using this for as an example with mealybug i don't know much about using it for the other pests but if you have experience of using diatomaceous earth do leave your comments down below and let me know what you think of it it's also meant to be very good to add into the soil to prevent uh, uh, root mealybugs and things like that as well so very happy to find this product because this is the one plant as i'd say i'm very happy with using neem oil on the majority of my cacti and succulents it works very well at preventing as well as treating pests and I've made quite a few videos on how to use neem oil but there are these certain types of cacti that are nightmarish because you doesn't matter what you spray on them or soak them you you cannot it's like it's wearing a coat of armor like a rain mac it's just completely water repellent and it, this powder is brilliant because as you can see this is the spines have come off here because over the years when this one has had mealybug I've had to use a little toothpick to stick in to lift out any pests and it's very time consuming and, and it's impossible to do without damaging the spines as well and it's not as effective so this is very very good to get in there. So I'll keep you updated on uh, how I get on with this and obviously I'll make a video in more detail about this in the future when I have more experience of it. So I hope you found that video interesting guys anyway <laughs> and uh thank you so much for watching and i just want to mention at the moment i'm having a few problems with my youtube comments um when i reply to them 
it, it will say I've replied, but sometimes half an hour later, my replies to comments on your videos, so on my videos, your comments, guys, will just go, it will vanish. And it's apparently it's a YouTube bug. It's happening, happening with a lot of video creators. So apologies if you're asking questions and I've just given it to heart. I have replied, but YouTube is removing my replies. It's very annoying and I don't know why it's happening, but... It seems to be some bug in the system as uh, YouTube has a lot of bugs. I think they could do with a bit of diet to Maceus Earth. <laughs> so guys, if for lots more tips and tricks on how you can care for and grow cacti and succulents, please do subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook at Desert Plants of Avalon. And also for, for more growing tips as well, check my website out, desertplantsofavalon.com. Want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness, and tons and tons of cactus and succulent power from across the Emerald Isle. And until my next video, bye.